Good morning, everyone. Another installment of when Wellness Wednesday. <laughs> My name is April Dupree, and we are here with fitness and nutrition expert Mackie Shellstone. Over the last several weeks, we have been showing you Mackie's secrets of what he does to stay fit and trim and nice and healthy. Uh, we are actually going to talk over the next three weeks about some upper body muscular endurance exercises and stretches that Mackie incorporates. Notice that we have this elastic band behind us. You can lock one into a drawer. We have it in a parallel um, um, uh, position right now so that way he can do some parallel motions. I'm going to let you explain a little bit more about what we're doing and then exactly how you're going to approach it. What I'm going to do is show you what I do every every Friday. I do it all at one time. It's over the three weeks. I'm consolidating into one. I suggest that you break it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. When I do it, there'll be 16 total and everything will show you in the three weeks. That for me, in one session, that's 400 repetitions. I want to do it between 12 and 15 minutes, and I don't want to lose form. I will use a thicker cord. That's what I like with the handles. And notice I put it parallel, par par parallel really under my armpit chest level. You're going to see that I'm going to do some balance by going front and back of the body. You'll see me okay. doing that. April will comment, especially when you look at my hands. So watch this. I'm awesome. going to be standing up. I don't do anything on my, on, the, on my back. That means I've been beaten in my world of pro sports uh, in the lunge position. You ready? Okay, Notice so obviously the further you come away, the more challenging it is. So if you want to start a little bit easy, you can. Notice that Mackie has his thumbs up versus elbows out and palms down. That protects the shoulders a little bit more. And notice that he's shortening that range of motion in order to be able to create that muscular strength and endurance. Same thing, you don't need to arch your back and pull all the way out like this. You want to stay very intact, making sure that those arms are not impinging upon the or above the uh, shoulders, pulling all the way back. It looks like you're practicing archery now. That's called bow point. and arrow. Bow and arrow. Look at that. So you can notice how Mackie is pulling out for that full range of motion here, extending all the way back. Now notice how he's not uh, cocking the chest out and then pulling back. So it's not about how far you go. It's about isolating those muscles and getting that endurance uh, created. So again, pulling all the way back. Now we're doing uh, three different positions over the next three weeks, but you can do all of these at one time or you can break it up into three days a week. Totally up to you. Again, so he's not extending all the way out. He's pushing and creating that barrier where that uh, start and stop range of motion. Same thing, not arching the back pulling elbows right into the rib cage and then extending those arms a little bit out. So again, let's I'm talk about a skier. Got one okay, more you got one more a skier. All right, pulling all the way back. And again, notice how he's stopping right at the hip. He's not pulling back any further than that and keeping those knees nice and bent because we don't want to stretch out those hamstrings or put that pressure into the low back. So uh, all of these are obviously very um, simple to do, but you can make them more challenging about pulling back further away from the door if you like. Um, let's talk about again, how many reps of these should we do? What she, April's talking about is accommodating isokinetic resistance. If I step out and do it, that's tougher. As I step back, that's easier. In professional sports, in life, you have to adapt. So you could be in a fight and you coming out, but you may have to get back, relieve some tension, and recover. I did 10 reps. Normally, I will do 20. But notice my form, it's very methodical. It, it's going to put in there, um, but basically I did I think six exercises and then one of them had two, two components, all right? Yeah. And so you can see that will really work and it elongates the muscles. I use this with Linda Hamilton for the Terminator movie to help elongate her because it looks better on television. And she was able to do everything after a number of weeks all 400 reps in 12 to 15 minutes. Next week, we'll show you what it looks like when we hook up and it's different down low. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for another installment of Wellness Wednesday. Visit Maxwell Nutrition to find all of this amazing information. And of course, visit www.tv.com and click on the health tab. We'll see you next week.